Hello there, my name is Davis and welcome to episode 10 of the Real Valladolid Career Mode Challenge Series. Well, the big day has finally, finally arrived. The one I've been waiting for since we got to this position. Real Madrid in the final of the Copa del Rey. And a, a little bit of a chance to make history for Real Valladolid. Um, never expected to get the final of the Copa del Rey at the start of the season. It was not a single one of my objectives I'd set out. Um, it is one of the overall objectives of the, uh, of the challenge. But uh, we had four years to achieve that. So um, to be able to potentially tick that off our list in the first season is a, a huge accomplishment with the team as well. We've had to come overcome Atletico Madrid in the first round and then the, uh, the draw was a little bit kinder to us. A uh, Albacete team from the second division we overcame and uh, we've beat Deportivo Alaves I think on penalties. So uh, that was a close game in the last round, but this is the big one. Real Madrid, I think they've uh, I think Valladolid's only got to the Cop del Rey final twice in their whole career. Um, once in, against Bilbao in the 1949 to 1950 season, unfortunately losing in the final there. And the last time they got to the cup final was against Real Madrid in 88 to 89 season and unfortunately they dropped down what to a 1-0 defeat against Real Madrid then so I'm hoping I'm hoping to turn around the fortunes of the Valladolid and uh, make the most of the day we're gonna attend the com press conference and uh, hopefully hopefully it's a special occasion do I have anything special? We will. I do have a little bit of something special. We are going to keep the same formation we've been playing in the uh, in the Copa del Rey, but our our hard work will uh, will pay off. Clearly, we're the underdogs in this story. Aren't fair to get this far back. And it all started with a chain and routine change in preparation for the match against Real Madrid. Um, we are well prepared. I think. Uh, I think we have, we have got a chance here. Side had a mixed bag in terms of results recently as a manager who reacted to seem an erratic patch of form. I mean, we lost the games we were expected to lose, except for that Bilbao game was unfortunate, but uh, I think in this game, the boys will shine through, show what they're made of. That is all for the pre-match conference. Let's get into the uh, the formations and tactics. Okay, this is how we're going to set up. 4 triple 2 the left attack in mid and the right attack in mid. Ben Arthur and Waldo. More pace down this left-hand side, but much more technically, technically skilled down the right with our main man, Ben Arthur. Greenwood and Plaza linking up once again, hopefully. Hopefully to bring a little bit of uh, ruthlessness to this game. Greenwood's been in great, great form. I think he's scored six or seven goals for us already this season. Since coming in, he's only been here for around the same amount of games. And Plaza's been good value for us all season long. Centre defensive midfielders, Alcaraz and Sumari, fantastic. Absolutely no complaints from them whatsoever. Uh, they've bossed the midfield countless times. In, uh, in previous games. New sign-in, Max Ahrens, right back, and uh, Appa at left back, plenty of pace up there. Uh, I'm hoping they can uh, they can make as many contributions going forward as, as they do uh, defensively. I know a uh, dynamic duo at centre-back, Silisu and Yaquin, only young for centre-back's age. But uh, they've done. They've been solid so far this season. Caught out a couple of times from uh, certain certain areas, like crosses into the box. Sometimes they uh, they lose their markers. But I'm hoping they produce today. And uh, the main man in goals, Jordi Massip, 31 years of age, been absolutely fantastic for us all season long. And uh, 
we're gonna need I imagine we're gonna need a couple of couple of good saves out of him today the bench we do have Brahim in on the bench uh, on loan from Real Madrid he could be a threat to bring on if we're looking for a goal late on into the game Tony Villa unable to, uh, unfortunate to miss out this game at least He's been pretty good for us, usually in that left attack in mid spot on a 4 2 3 1, but I've, uh, I've decided to stick with the, the traditional Copa del Rey formation. And uh, Fair Day will come on if we need some more legs in that midfield. Lopez, another one on loan from Real Madrid. He'll only be used if we uh, require a change at one of the fullback slots. Same with Antonito. Young Costa will be. Uh, only called upon if Salis or Yaquin get tired or injured. And that is the squad. A little change to the game settings to this one. We're going half length six minutes. It will be a full game of a full gameplay uh, for this game. Biggest game of the season. Make the most of it. And uh, in terms of my backroom staff, I've got a uh, a little special edition brought in just for the just for this game specifically try and get the boys right up and uh, to pick up on any changes needed if at half time at the end of the game if needed so let's get into the game don't let's give them a fucking christmas present let's fucking get leathered in but properly and let's play when we've got it and fucking believe and i think we've got a fucking chance we've all got to be like that on fucking monty's chest haven't we a fucking rash <laughs> All right, on, let's boys. go. Come on, let's go. Hopefully the uh, hopefully the boys are fully ready to go straight from kick off. I'd hate to go one 0 down early on. And the uh, the Raul Tifo, not Raul, Figo Tifo, up in the stands. The boys look ready. The question is, am I ready? <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be a tough game, but hopefully, hopefully we can pull off something special. There it is, a Copa del Rey cup. I don't know if that's the actual one from real life, but. While we're looking to win in this game, Mason Greenwood in class form, three goals in the last three matches, and uh, a couple more since got more than that since joining. He's going to be our main threat, I think. Most clinical striker we have, and those two centre backs, Salisu and Yaquin. Hopefully, they can keep their front three quiet, which does consist of Benzema, Bale, and Hazard. The Thiago Silva playing. Right back, it looks like, which is definitely an, air, an area I can look to uh, exploit. Not a lot of pace there. And the midfield three of Thiago, Cruz, and Casemiro. Incredible talent in that midfield. And use our team as you've seen earlier. Nothing's changed. Four triple two. Going all out for this game. Just look to add that first piece of silverware to the trophy cabinet. And we are underway. And it's live, as they say. Ball up to Hazard. Ben Arthur tracking back though. That's what I like to see nice and early on. Don't know how long he'll be able to keep that up for. It's a good line from our defence. That's from offside. Just get a couple of touches on the ball. Let the midfielders have a feel.
Don't need to rush this game. A little bit longer to play. Try to try the first risky ball. It hasn't paid off. Surely that's a free kick, Rev, no? That's a lovely piece of skill. Salisu gets across, gets across twice, that's fantastic. Fantastic defending. Sumari looks to release Ben Arthur up against Marcelo. Does just about have the pace to get into him. Plays her inside, Mason Greenwood, lovely touch. Pulls her across, but it's straight at the defender. Maybe he should have took the shot on himself. First real, real opportunity to get into the box for us. Waldo out wide. Mm. Thought I'd have the pace to uh, just skip past Thiago Silva there, but experienced defender nonetheless, even if he is out of position. Another cracking ball out to uh, Eden Hazard. Aaron's as well. Thought that would have gone then. Poor pass by Alcaraz in the middle. They haven't been able to punish us with it though, and we win it back. Ah, I thought the, thought the drag back would work. Plaza absolutely flattens Casemiro. Or Tiago, is it? Who was Tiago? He's on the ball now. And they've got a corner, first corner of the game. It is absolutely boiling in this room. PS4 is working overtime. Gareth Bale with a chance to whip her in, chooses to go short. Good header out by Silly Sue. Still bunched in the box though. Oh, Hazard skips past, header away. Now we've got a chance to count uh, Waldo with a pace down this left hand side. He's fed in. Takes on Ramos and it's a great save by Courtois. Waldo looks to place it across the keeper. Keeper gets down, good reaction save. Ben Arthur. Harrens. Our left back coming narrow. It's a lovely little pass. It's a lovely turn. Keeper comes out. He's chipped him. Oh, he's at the bar. Oh, Mason Greenwood goes for the audacious chip, and it almost comes off as well. More ago, that would have been a lovely little work move. And he just clips the top of the bar. It's a very strong start, Very, almost coming to the end of the first half as well. And we've had the better chances, to be honest. Sumari away, and that is that is that for the first half. Very strong performance from the lads. Very happy indeed. We're unlucky not to get a goal. Two shots apiece in that second half. There's a. Uh, I was definitely more threatening, to be honest. Forcing Courtois to make a very good save. And Mason Greenwood hitting the bar with that chip. It's been a... 
It's been a, a confident first half performance. And uh, thankfully, my, uh, my assistant manager has only good words to say about the team. Listen, I'm not bothered about you losing. If you're not going to turn, you've only turned once and we've nearly scored. I think there's quality going in. Listen, it's a better game than we all thought, isn't it? Because they, they, at least they're trying to play, aren't they? You know, and they're trying to catch us on break. They're solid, they're well organised. But we've got that much, that, we've got that bit better quality. And we've just got to make it count. And as I said to you, it might be a knob end in 91st minute that wins it. But you've got to keep doing it. Cheers, Neil. Thank you very much for the kind words. You know what to do, lads. Get out there and make some history. Bring home that title. Got a cracking chance. Alcaraz finds Apa, who's got space to run into. Waldo's made the run inside. Can he fizzer across the goal? He's, cho he's chose to chip it. Nah. Unfortunately, it's gone straight out of play. Oh, that's an ambitious ball. First time for Hazard again. This time it goes straight out of play. Real Madrid, very, very cagey in the start of the second half. Quite hesitant, a bit of nerves perhaps for the uh, lost Blancos. Plaza cuts his way inside, unable to get a shot away, stopped by Rafa Varane. Well done, Ben Arthur, that's great work ethic. So free kick, no ref. He's on the man first. No worries though. No whistle so off. Oh, it's a poor pass. It's a very poor pass. Gareth Bale takes her up wide. Plays Benzema in behind. Jack Queen, great defending lad. Won the throw in. It's a great tackle by Abba. And they show their hand first. Going for a bit more of an attacking threat. Tony Cruz making way for Isco. Oh, Plaza looking for an ambitious ball in behind. Unable to beat Rafa Varane with it though. And now they're going more attacking. Another good tackle, he's unable to keep it though. But Yaquin cleans up. It's another poor pass by Appa, that's the second one in the last 10 minutes. And they found Bale inside! Oh dear me, no! That's all come from a poor back pass. Gareth Bale punishes us, the man for the big occasion. Scored in many a final. Loses his marker, lovely one too with Eden Hazard. And he buries it past Jordi Massip. I think he is the top goal scorer in this competition as well, Gareth Bale. If not this competition, he's definitely top goal scorer in La Liga. He's been on fine form this season. In the 70th minute, I, have, I am going to make a couple of changes. Ben Arthur's been very quiet. I don't really like him on that wide attack in mid spot, but he's too good not to drop from the first team. So I'm going to bring on the two Real Madrid loanies. Abba, although he's had a decent game, he has made two silly mistakes. One led to a goal, the other was uh, was dealt with. So uh, maybe the big occasions just get into him a little bit. So Brahim comes on and Lopez. And hopefully we can uh, look to get the equaliser in this game. Mm, 
Greenwood unable to do anything there. Forced out wide, forced to pick her up out wide. Benzema on this left hand side. Finds Eden Hazard who gets the cross in, dealt with mass by Massip. Now we need to start making these counter attacks work. It's a good through ball by Mason Greenwood. Waldo comes inside, that's a great shot! <laughs> Little deflection might have just taken it past Thibaut Courtois, but we are back in the game. Waldo cutting inside. Thiago Silva not quick enough to keep up and cut back with him. And uh, we are back in this tie. I think it takes a little deflection. If not, that's poor goalkeeping. Oh, it doesn't take a deflection. Courtois maybe not expecting the shot. But uh, number 23, Waldo. Been fantastic for us this, this season. Go along with his game and uh, produced a big, big moment here. Benzema out wide, looks for the cross for a stop. It seems Benzema's playing out on this right wing now and Bale's gone through the centre. Barza finds the through ball to Waldo. Wits it back stick, but uh, there's not enough power to take past. Take it past um, Thibaut Courtois. Another good ball. It's out to Benzema. It was not the fastest to be out on this wing. That's good covering by Lopez. It's a poor pass, but we managed to deal with it. Last minute of extra time. Well, added time. Let's try not to throw away now. Good. And we haven't. And we take it to extra time. Just calm now, all right? Let us go out now and be fucking positive at what we do. Defend as a unit, as a fucking team. And let's take this game on now and show everybody what you fucking... It's not, uh, not been a bad game at all so far. Chances kept to him is a very, very even game. Three sh three attempts each. They've had the one more on target. 50-50 possession. Exactly the same tackles. It's, uh... We've shocked a lot of people here, I think, today. At the uh, at the Wanda Metropolitano, home of uh, Atletico Madrid, of course. Teams starting to get a little tired. I think this is where the uh, the elite levels of Real Madrid's players still start to show in that uh, in that stamina center. But uh, hopefully, we can. We can play off adrenaline and get those energy levels maintained. They have brought off Bale, their, uh, their main threat, replacing him with Luka Jovic. A little bit of fresh legs up top could be a problem. Chance to find a through ball for Diaz, but None doing. Jovic has gone on. He's gone for the shot. A little feeler. Straight off the bench, but uh, made massive work. Finesse shot, top of the box. Keeper has to save it. They go short off the corner again. Played in. It's narrowly wide by uh, Militao, that looks like. Doesn't quite connect with it, he looks to just glance it back stick. And it's kind of sliced off the top of his head. And we've got away with that one. Lopez. Thiago Silva is absolutely knackered on you on this left hand side. They brought Marcelo over here as well. 
Maybe they're trying to cover for Thiago Silva's tiredness. Or they're playing some weird formation I'm unsure about, but Hazard's in. He doesn't have the doesn't have the stamina to continue the run. Looks for the chip through ball, but it doesn't come off. Dying moments of the half. Seen out of play by Benzema. And they have made that change finally. Well, Rafa Varane didn't even start. That's interesting. I assume he will take the place of uh, Thiago Silva. And that is that for the first half of added time. Very tense. Very tense indeed. Not a lot going on in that second half, in that first half, but. It is a very close fought contest. I think I am going to make the change. Waldo looking the tiredest out of the team. So fresh legs in that left attack in mid spot might sort us out. Waldo coming on. And uh, yeah, it's time to go for it. Just to find the pass via introduced very late on. We'll need to uh, get up to speed very quickly here. It's a good tackle, Salisu. Formidable. This pass is unable to find Greenwood with the pass. Jovic dropping deep to find the ball. Sold Yaquin, who is out of position now. Carrying it a long way, finds the pass into Hazard, crosses it back post, and oh, once again, once again we get away with it. Esco, not known for his head and capabilities, thankfully puts that one wide at the back stick, and we have three minutes to uh, settle this tie. One last attack maybe. Ramos has gone diving in. Raheem Paz is unable to to control it. Sumari with the challenge. He keeps on going. Ah, we're into an added minute of, of this extra time. Thanks, Via. Alcaraz! Ah, oh, it's on his left foot. That was it. That was the chance. We needed Ben Arthur there with his left foot for that. But unfortunately, this is going to be settled on penalties. A lot of bottle needed. A lot of bottle needed by our players now. That was our chance late on in the first half. So, so unlucky. Real Madrid just started to apply that pressure in the second half of the extra, extra time. Their uh, their stamina and quality is starting to pull through, pull them through. But we managed to cling on, got fortunate. And now it's a 50-50 if anything. They definitely have the better penalty takers than us, but uh, hopefully a bit of magic. We've got lucky. Hazard's missed the first one, he's at the post. Up steps, Plaza. Oh, that's a great penalty. Top corner, and we're 1 0 up. Sergio Ramos. Keeper's gone the right way. <laughs> Come on. Oh, chance to make it 2 0. Alcaraz, the set piece specialist. Down the middle. Keeper's gone the right way. Benzema, as cool as you like. Bottom right down corner, it's back to 1-0. Greenwood to uh, 
restore our one all one nil uh, lead. It's not a great penalty if a keeper moves that way, he saves it, but a goal is a goal. Esco puts it down the middle. Brahim Diaz, formerly of Man City, currently of Real Madrid, on loan at us. Looking for that top right, and he finds it. Keeper does a move, and now this could be all on Jordi Masip. Save this and we are winning. Thiago, former Barcelona player, steps up. Calm as you like. Rolls it to the right of the keeper, sends him the wrong way. And now on our substitute, Tony Villa. Massive, massive moment for me in this career mode. Keeper saves it. Oh, I don't believe it. Jovic steps up off the bench. Now we need to score this. Sumari, our summer signing. First signing for the club. Keeper dives, places it right of middle. Casemiro, where's he gonna put it? Right side again. Now on to our centre back, yeah, Queen. It's always nervy when we get to this point. And the keeper saved it. Ah, oh, I don't believe it. No. Ah. Courtois, the hero. And despair on the Queen. Fantastic game he had. But, uh, it's the problem with penalties. If you don't, uh, if you don't take your chances, unfortunately, uh, you don't get the rewards. Gutted, if I'm honest. Very, very gutted. Thought we played an excellent game. Matched them toe for toe, Real Madrid. But like I said before the shootout, it's a 50 50. And uh, whatever happens, happens. I'm so proud. I'm very, very proud of the boys. Couldn't have asked more from them. And uh, yeah, it will just have to uh, win it next year, I guess. Let's get in, Bath. It's fucking disappointing. All of us disappointing. But fucking take the positives out of that. Yeah. Take the positives out of that. And this is where I shall end it for this episode, lads. Disheartening to get so far and to uh, to go out on penalties in the final. Props to Real Madrid, they're top side. But I thought maybe maybe this was the year. A little bit of cup magic. But uh, we've got something to build on now. The, uh, the challenge remains open. We still need that Copa del Rey win. And we'll be back stronger next year, hopefully. And uh, hopefully taking that, taking that cup away from them. But I've been Davis. Thank you very much for watching. A little bit of a different one today. Just the one, just the one massive game. I hope you've enjoyed. If you've liked, leave a like. If you want to watch up, keep up to date on the career mode, watch any of my other series, you can subscribe, that's no problem at all. Thank you very much for watching, good night.